it's Alex. I forgot to film uh, me saying hello. So I'm just voicing over the beginning here. I'm just going to get the Land Rover out of the parking spot and put it by the garage. Because I'm going to change the oil. Change the oil filter. Do the air filter. Get these blooming pink ribbons off the front of it. And um, I'm going to check the tappets. But I'm not going to include the tappet check-in in this video because it'll be too long. I'll do the tappet check-in separately. So uh, look out for that one. So just going to undo the sump plug here with a 21mm socket on an extension or breaker bar. Now I have had the engine running so this oil is going to be quite warm and it's going to come out fast. Get ready. Oh, there it is. That was overdue. Get ready when fitting the new oil filter because you will end up with it all up your arm. All right, just going to climb down here to show you where the oil filter is. Yeah, it's that thing up there. Bloody awkward. I tend to loosen it off so the oil starts draining out. Just leave it draining for a bit. And it just drains right down on that front prop shaft and it just goes everywhere. And when you undo it and pull it out, sometimes it just goes all up your blooming arm. So up here we've got a little rubber sort of o-ring, gasket, seal, whatever you want to call it. You've got to hook that old one out of there. Because the, the replacement filter should come with a new one. So make sure you give it a nice clean up there before you fit the new seal and the new filter. Well, and before you put this new seal in there, just um, give it a light coating of some engine oil, help it slide in place and help it help stop it sticking in there in future. Right, trying to drag all this old crap out of here. Right, that's the housing for the oil filter. You want to give that a good clean inside of there. Don't worry about that filter there because we're going to bin that. We've got a new one up there. There you go. This is what it should look like. <laughs> well, if you're anything like me, you'd have forgotten to buy a new crushable copper washer to go on the sump plug. Dirty leaf. So, make sure you keep some PTFE tape handy. We'll cut a bit of this off and wrap it round the thread of the sump plug. We'll keep the old washer on there. I so say this is a bit of a, I suppose you'd say a bit of a bodger's bodge. <laughs> but, um, hey, it'll stop, stop it leaking. Yeah, you know, that'll do. Plumbers use it. <laughs> Ideally, you want to leave it as long as possible until you put the sump plug in to get every drop of crap out of there. But I left it bloody ages and it was still dripping. So I just quickly wiped it and then shoved the sump plug in and done it up. It's good enough. Alright. <laughs> Time to get this... Uh top cover off. Now I'm taking the rocker cover off to adjust the tappets. My gasket isn't leaking but if you were doing an oil change and you notice your top cover gasket's leaking it's definitely worth doing. It's quite an easy job and you'll see me here taking off all the components needed to be removed so we can access the tappets. I'm going to do the tap it adjustment video separately to this because otherwise it would just be like the longest video in the world.
and she's off. All right, so you want to get that old gasket off of there. Try and get it all off in one piece. That'd be ideal. Sometimes you'll have to use a scraper or a blade to try and get remnants of it off. Um, and ideally, you want to use something like a brake cleaner on a cloth to make sure the mating surface of the cover and the head of the engine are nice and clean before you put the new gasket on. So I've got the new gasket on and I put the top cover on. I've got these little rubber grommets that sit on top of it. And then there's the little metal caps that just sit over the top of the grommets. I pop them on. And we can put the first one in there. The first two are studs, the nut on top. The one at the back is just a nut, the stud's already in there. Don't know why, it's just how it is. And don't forget to put this strange little plate on that holds the coil. A random place to put a coil, but I guess it's up out of the way in case any water goes in the engine bay, that's at its highest point there, so it's not going to get wet. Now you'll notice I don't give a damn about what it looks like under this bonnet. If you've seen my Allegro and my P4, you'll be shocked that this is actually my vehicle. <laughs> now before you go mad tightening these nuts up on top just check your gasket's not you know getting pinched make sure it's got a good seal all around before you do the final tightening up so otherwise you could be tightening it up and the gasket might have slid in handy thing is to take photos before you take wires off just to make sure you get them in the right place I've just never felt inclined to want to clean up or paint anything under this bonnet. As long as it all works and preferably doesn't leak, although it is a Land Rover, so it leaks, mostly gearbox. Um, as long as it's fully functional, uh, I'm not worried what it looks like. Now the final piece of the puzzle, the long air filter pipe. Now I have had a little K&N type filter on the carburetor before, but it does make it a bit more noisy in the cab area. And also this standard fit air filter is a lot better when you're throwing because of the the high level of the the air intake so less likely to suck any water into the carburetor so the last thing to do now is to put the oil in this is the oil I use I'll leave the link in the description what happened it got dark not dark. <laughs> okay, it's all back together. Nice and quiet. Just checking for leaks now. Uh, 
no sign of any leaks. I changed the oil in the air filter as well. Not long ago, did the spark plugs. Oh dear, I didn't bring a mat to lie on, did I? Ugh. Ugh. So, sump plug doesn't look like it's leaking. Oil filter looks like it might be leaking a little bit. So there's a little drip there, look. Extreme close up. It's not actually dripping, but that looks like it might be leaking a bit, so I might have to tighten that up a little bit. Looking at the state of the surrounding area, it's probably been leaking anyway. I think they just need nipping up. I'll do it tomorrow. It's too dark. Thanks for watching.